Hello, everybody. So Chris here. Today we're going to play The Long Dark. We, uh, we made it to Milton. We've got a safe little house where we spent the night. And then we're going to start stripping it to the bones. Uh, probably collect all the stuff. Scout the area. That, that'll probably take a couple days. Go on maybe a localized little excursion. And, uh, and then eventually head to the new zone. That's the idea. I don't know how much of that we'll get to today, but uh, let's go ahead and start. Set the volume for me. Just a little bit lower. Okay. So it's it's chilly outside. We've started laying out all of our stuff here in the kitchen. Hey, Dangle Snuff, what's going on? How are you this afternoon, night, evening, whatever? Um. I think we've looked through our inventory. I can't remember exactly what we've done. <clears throat> uh, yeah, look. It looks like I have the, the uh, everything put away. Probably don't need the storm lantern. I don't, I don't want to take all day out there. Oh, you can, you can move storm lanterns. Maybe you could before. What was it that you couldn't move? Something. All right. So, need food. I mean, we're not going to go hungry. But I'm not against killing the uh, livestock. Wildlife. Alright, so we've... What do we loot? The bank? We loot the bank. Otherwise, I'm not really quite sure. So that wolf is still there in front of that tower. Two wolves. So let's not go that way. Alright, so we did meet the credit union. So let's go, let's just go down the street. Been to the post office. Oh, we've this. Let's so many creepy noises in this place. to drop a letter off. Let's carry around a book for now. Check my mail. Um, at one point I lived in a, in a place where we had to go to the post office to check our mail. There's something kind of nice about that. It's obviously not for me. Terribly inconvenient, but there's something nice about it. Something uh, community. Uh. Well, that's it for this place. I don't think there's. Uh,
anything else here? Alright, we'll, we'll go down that route, uh, that side. Let's stay on this side. All these buildings are shuttered. Okay, we've got a little work area. Which, actually, I'm kind of happy to see. Because uh, you usually have specific things that are pretty cool. Tools and whatnot. Wait, what? This place, however, is pretty barren. The poor town. Well, certainly is a lot of metal here, but I don't think we're going to be carting a lot of metal back to the climbing areas. Thank you, Dangle Stuff. Thank you for the bits. Uh, you're getting outdone. It's uh, it's not a competition. I appreciate it. appreciate your bits. Uh, is this really just one? Somebody's already been here. I'm really hoping we'll find uh, research books. But another cooking pot. Destroyed the fridge and the stove. What animals were in there? Uh, another cooking pot. I do believe we have all the cooking pots we could ever want. But it's not been bad. Kind of funny we spent so long looking for a cooking pot and now we have six. Toilet water can always use some toilet water. Oh, a bit of cloth. Okay. 
So this place sucks. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we, we have everything we want, so it's... It's not like uh, we're looking for anything in particular. Although I wouldn't mind a rifle. Uh, since it's too heavy to carry in. Get rid of that wolf prop. Uh, let's see, an expedition parka, I think, would be a, a nice thing. It's fairly light and it's very warm. Uh, I've never seen one, actually. But I believe it's the best, the best jacket. Been upstairs, right? place looks trashed. I wonder if what happened here is explained in the story mode. Uh, I heard today that they're not working on story mode story three. They're actually going back to one and two to fix them up, which is probably, well, I don't know. I don't know what their strategy is. The game is already released. I'm kind of surprised they're still working on it at all. All right, so <clears throat> for carrying this thing around, we might as well put it on. Uh, it takes less weight when you're wearing alright so that's where we came from alright we'll definitely be heading over there today uh, but I wanted to make sure to get these houses first because they're easy targets. So now we'll do this little row. I think we did the, some of this last night. Or, uh, well, last night in game. Pretty sure we searched that house. Sure, if we search this. <clears throat> hey, pal. Welcome. What's going on? 
All right, we've searched this place. Oh, we left some water here. Might as well take it with us. that we've got this uh it's really burned down house thought there might be something there all right so Tournament in Magic. You managed to win. Congratulations. Very nice. Like you won the whole tournament? It's kind of weird you can't get up close to us. The back of it, I mean. Job. Nice job, Pat. I don't know enough about magic to. Uh, I don't really know much about the game, but you know, to be the first of 16, it's pretty nice in anything. I have played. I did play for about an hour once. Somebody was explaining it to me. Uh, tapping cards or something. Mana, tapping mana. It's all I remember. Earth magic or something. I don't know. Brown mana, blue mana. Uh, Alright. Did we skip these houses? I think we did. That's about all I remember. Uh, ooh, an intact fridge and freezer. And it's water. You should ask and see if any of your friends know, because I'm sure they'd be happy to, to teach you. People seem to like bringing others into the fold. So this, uh, this town really likes granola. close to home, so. Ah, okay. Um, all right, it's about a little, it's just a little afternoon. I think this is it for the town, but there could be one more. Oh, we haven't gone upstairs. Oh, it's a crib. There's, an, uh, there's a, a digital version, like an online version of Magic the Gathering. I assume it costs money, I'm not quite sure. It's another house. Or it could be a shed. It's a shed. Toolbox! I mean, 
down. I can turn down there, actually. Magic Arena, we just went beta. Hearthstone style. I played Hearthstone for a while. I liked it. Uh, but it was it was a little bit too random for my tastes. I have a feeling that most of these card games are heavy on the random. Uh, maybe if you had bigger hands, you know, that might reduce some of the randomness, but a little, a little too random. So that's it, I think, unless we really made some serious mistake for this area. Um, there's a little row of palaces here that uh, I believe we started to search and then we turned around last night because it was too, it was too late. So uh, let's check these out. And then we'll drop off and see if we have enough time to maybe make it to the to the uh, farm. There's a nice little field. Bunch of rabbits and lots of wolves. Have you ever tried uh, Hearthstone? Either of you? Can't beat a free, free game. Well, there's, there's plenty of shitty free games, I suppose. But we just cannot catch a break with these cabinets. what it is. They've got a lovely dining room area. This is actually quite a nice house. Oh, they've got one of these fire logs. So close. Played some close baby. So you feel like uh, magic is less random, like a better player beats. A worse player, usually. Um, it doesn't help to, to, to crouch in real life. I, I just cannot stop it. I don't know. It just seems like the right thing. We won't have to make water for a while. We've got three gallons. Plus whatever we had left at the house. Well, I don't see anything else. Uh, just 
a whole lot of cloth if, if we need it. Cloth and metal. Well, this one's shuttered too, so that's that. That's it. Right, how about this one? Magic Hat Deck and Graveyard. Too close to these boards. So we saw the same wolves last night. They're hanging up by this tower on the road, uh, which is certainly where we want to go, uh, but we can go around. If it were just one, I would say let's just shoot it right up, right off. Uh, let the pelt dry, we'll use it to repair when we leave. But uh, I, don't, I don't really feel like taking two on at once. That seems a little unfair. Okay, let's drop off to something like that. And put uh, I'll put the good the good stuff. Wait. Put the good stuff in here. So that's something like that. That seems fine. But actually, we'll put those. So at least I hope we don't. Of those tools, we'll put in uh, that shaft and dirt B. Uh, we actually have more pots. Burner. That's the definition of luxury. All right. So clothes. Um. So in in match, you have a deck, a hand, and the graveyard. You can build your deck around cards. Get you what you need, dependably. Yeah, in Hearthstone, yeah, it's kind of like you can. There's a small amount of strategy in saying, "Oh, I want these things in my deck, and I hope that they come up at the same time." But that's pretty much it. Uh, but in the end, Magic's the card games is still randomness, Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's. I think I think the randomness is exciting, but I think it needs to be limited. You know? All right, so I don't actually want to wear this sweater. So put that in. All these socks. We will wear that. 
some socks. Okay, what's... Okay, wood. I think it's just this fireball. Back down to 46. I think that's pretty good. Alright, so where to? There, there's, um,. There's a little shed to the left I kind of want to go to. Uh, there's also a tower up above this, uh, up above us on this hill. And uh, we'll save, we'll save the long adventures I think for tomorrow. Basically, we go across that bridge. There's a, there's a church eventually, and if you go this way, you get to the farm. I don't think I want to go there today. So let's uh let's go up this hill. Yeah, I mean, I think I guess I kind of see card games as like past the time fun as opposed to I'm going to practice at this and be good fun. You know what I mean? It's it's different different kinds of I'm a little worried I don't see any rabbits. Nope, I've never played Egyptian rats for or taxes. Oops. I assume they're card games. I think I've heard of Egyptian rats for place is not enterable. But we've got a little deer. How about we um how about we chop him up on the way home? I wonder if that'll attract the wolves. Another name in German, probably. Egyptian rat screw, like why is it called that? Okay, so there's the silo, and you can see one of the bales of hay over there. That's where the farm is. Oh, let's see if we can get a better view. Little orchard. Got uh, nice deer hanging out in the middle of the field. The weather just got really nice. I wonder if we should try it for the deer. <laughs> you feel like the name puts people off? Just come up with a new name for it yourself. A sewing book. And. Oh, shit! A hunting rifle.
All right, so I think we have three bullets, and they're, well, I, I don't have them. I think they're in the refrigerator. Rummel stuff. Yeah, Rummel snuff sounds like a good, a good, I'd play rum, Rummel stuff. Uh, reminds me of Rummy, Rummy Cube. Played that a bit. It's nice. I mean, I think it, It's a card game, but it's not normal cards. Right? Special cards. I don't see anything else in here. But hey, a rifle. It's pretty good. The question is. Should we do with it? Maybe use it to shoot one of those wolves. Hopefully from afar. Oh, saplings. Let's pick up all of the uh, wonder, wonder food, and then we'll chop up the deer. Yeah, I mean, you're right, Pale. Um, the difference is it's much easier to aim. Uh, I feel like it's more accurate from a longer distance. Uh, and it also, I think, it shoots faster. Um, having to pull the bow back the second time, I can never get off a second shot. It has huge downsides, for sure. But for certain things, I, I'd prefer it. I, well, I don't... I feel like lately I haven't been killing any of the wolves. Except with the axe. But at that point, they're damaging them, you know? I, I need to get them before they do damage to me. Um, because for whatever reason, I keep firing above them. Uh, so, you know, it's a resource. The bullets, the rifles, they're a resource. And uh, I might as well use them. No, that would be pretty cool to be able to build armor, like uh, out of tin cans or something. All right. So I'm going to grab the little bit of uh, meat that's going to be on the steer. I assume it will only be about two pounds. Try to get the rabbit. Let's, uh, let's try to get the rabbit first. 
need their hide to repair their gloves. Get them out on flat ground. Also, I need more than one rock because I have a feeling this isn't going to do it. That was uh, that was lined up pretty well. Come on, these hills make it really tough. Fog's rolling in on us. But it's pretty hard to get lost when you're right next to town. I hope. You rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Mr. Bonnie, come here, buddy. Look, let me explain to you how this animal kingdom thing works. You see, I'm hungry. And, uh, well, you happen to be made out of food. It's nothing personal. Looks like there's a dead body over there, too. Right, another shot at this rabbit. Let's see if I can get on and see him. So close. Oh, that time he knew. That time he knew. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. No, go, go to the flat. <laughs> Come on, rabbit. All right, fine. You, you, uh, you live today, rather. Oh my god, I hate this UI. All right, well, 
<laughs> Stop helping the rabbits, Bill. Um, when I get the hide, I'm gonna get the guts. Actually, I think I'll do that separately. Um, 11 minutes, six minutes with the knife. Yes, please. Okay. All right, the knife is just the best tool all around. So we'll use that to repair our pants, which we'll inevitably have to do. Uh, I kind of think I should cook this, because we're going to be close enough to those wolves that they're going to see us. But I also don't want to. I want to go back to the house and cook it. just because. Alright, so... I hear a bunch of crows. I assume you guys heard that. It's got wolf. They're attractive. From a little too far away, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Oh, I can see. God, imagine if they could claw through the fucking walls. At that point, we'd have a zombie game. I hope it never comes to that. Um, well, we have th over three gallons of water, so we don't really need to make water. All we need to do is cook these two steaks. I think. Is there anything else we could use the fire for? Oh, we could, um, yeah, we could make some of these. All right, so that's what I'll do. Let me pick some of these up while I can still see. Where he came from, I'm not exactly sure, but... I guess he was down at the foot of the hill on the other side. Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, before, before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and I'll drop these rascals. 
two clicks for each one, not three clicks. Two clicks for each one. Then I'll drop the. Uh, drop a little bit of a. I got. Let it start dry. There we go. So these are the ones I want. These. Um, maybe I'll actually try carrying them around instead of the painkiller because uh, the uh, painkillers are lighter. Carry the paint for out with us. Okay. Well, I wanted the rabbit skin for our gloves. They seem to be targeted by the wolves. It's always the gloves and the hat that goes first. Uh, but I think we'll have better luck out by the, the farm because it's a nice big open flat field. Hopefully I'll, I'll do a better job. Uh, let's go for that. All right, so I believe that now we have these cooking pots, we can click on them, which is way better. We can just say cook. And uh, in this patch, they fixed this thing where if you had like a steak that was a tenth of the size of another one, it actually took the same amount of time. So this is pretty, uh, pretty effective use of, of our time, uh, but only because we're lucky enough to have this stove. So go do something while this is happening. Just put stuff away. Um, ah yeah, so we've got this hunting rifle. Let's grab it. So we only have two bullets. Shiza. Uh, but that's okay. I think I'm just going to kill these wolves that are next to the house. Uh, at least try to. Um. Alright, so painkillers will put in here. Antibiotics. I like that they've changed these colors. It's much easier to tell them apart. I mean, we, might, we have the burners, we might as well use them.
Um, I've been going a little heavy on the, the stuff that I usually save for a couple of reasons. One is that uh, um, it's going to be hard taking stuff out of here. I already know we're going to have to leave things behind. Um, there's a lot of cattail stalks in this region. So I'd rather eat the food that can spoil and take the cattail stalks out. Another reason is I, th I think we've just been saving too much. Um, we don't need to be quite so careful. mess with it anymore. Uh, let's decorate. Tend as if we were reading a book. That's role play. Potable. Take. 18. Okay, so we'll click pastime. Yeah, it's, it's just, God, this is tedious. All right, there's 11 minutes on the stove. All the burners are clear. Uh, let's... I'm not going to be in too much of a rush tomorrow. So I'll do one more thing, which is... Make some of these. Alright, so first thing is we're gonna. Well, actually, I don't need to. I'm just gonna say first thing, let's kill those wolves. We can probably avoid them. Um, thing is, if we don't kill them, uh, I'm not going to carry around the gun, so we won't have uh, won't have the gun. leave it. Alright, so we'll try to avoid them. Um, I'm, I'm going to head to the farm first since it's nice and early. We'll, uh, we 
should have plenty of time to react to whatever happens. Seven. I feel like getting heavier and heavier. So, Reishi is antibiotics. I don't think we need to carry those. Rosa T, that's painkillers. So, I carry three. That's plenty. I think we have more than enough pharmaceutical. I need to finish that off and can't, so in the freezer it goes. 44. Man, let's take up all the space. I, I guess it's still our clothes. A lot of water too. All right, we're off. It's a little bit creepy outside. Like, ominous. Let's hit this. Uh, see what's what's dead. Probably a deer. I'm starting to think we're never going to die. Famous last words, huh? Alright. Let's get on track here. God, those chains creep me out. Those swing chains blow in the wind. Oh my god. Now, you know what grows on the river. Corn dogs. So come back there. But first things first. Make it to this house. You see any movement? So, 
there's usually walls here. So I wonder if they're hiding. It's like crappy. Rabbits. Need to find some rocks. A sapling, two saplings. Is that a wolf? No, it's a rock. Um, there's this thing about people, you know, you see patterns, shapes, everywhere. Um, they see faces, a piece of toast. Or on the moon. Uh, all right, something moving to the right. That's a wolf. So if they, those of us, those of our ancestors that saw or skittish smelled, what's that smell? Is that could be our wolf? Does that smell like wolf to you? What is that in the in the bushes? Is that a is that a panther? Oh, uh, they survived. So we see what we're looking for. Anywhere. Everywhere. To see the numbers, certain numbers. Can't get uh, I mean that's finding patterns. Right on the nose. Shit.
So this is the uh, the only workbench I know of in this region. You gotta leave town to, to get to it. And it's not it's not indoors. A little bit like uh, Crystal Highway, but you got a little fire barrel to keep you warm. Looks like that wolf is heading up the path away from us. So we have to find a key. Uh, should be under the doormat, right? Isn't that where you put keys? Paradise Meadows farm key. I forgot about this, but now I think I remember the, la the last time I played. The farm key was uh, in the cabin thing. What do you call it? The shed. This may come in handy. I think that there's a thing above the, the house we're staying at that has a rope drop. Um, didn't leave the key in the ignition. I didn't see anything in here, otherwise I would have taken it. I think there was a dead guy in here though, so they must have changed it. So I was joking about the ignition, but there is a truck over here. That wolf's coming. I think we might have a showdown. I want to get to that truck, and that's where he's going. What if I scare the rabbit into the truck? I mean, into the wolf. Go on, rabbit. Afraid of something, so I'm gonna hop in here. Oh, thank God! What the fuck? Uh. Okay. He. Shit. He's coming back this way. 
He probably should have left as soon as he went over there. Oh dear. I wonder if we can kill him like this. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but that worked out. Whew. Let's let's actually wait on that. So this is not a bad place to to hunker down. Uh, it's got a bed, and it's near that, <clears throat> it's near that, uh, that workbench, so any of your animal crafting needs, I guess any needs, it's mostly animal related, but you can make books. Anyway, it's not a bad place, not a bad place. Um, I've seen deer out on the orchard thing to the left, but I, I don't know how, I, I, I've always seen wolves too. But like I said, the last time I played, I played on uh, where the wolves were passing. So it might be that that the key is placed randomly. I mean, not randomly, but you know, amongst a set of places because because I know that sometimes corpses don't show up. Like there was no corpse in that barn, um, and I think the last time I played, there was a corpse up on that rock, and there was no corpse this time. So it could just be you know, if it shows up there, the key's there. Otherwise, not a bullet. That kind of thing. Uh, but it's a good thing that we didn't attract the wolf. And then try to run into the house. Holy shit, I think I would have wet my pants. Uh, I don't know if you remember the first stream where a wolf attacked and I forgot how to interact. That's it panicked me so much I just forgot. I was pressing E, I guess. Uh, holy moly. You weren't there. Yeah, I, I'm surprised you're here today. I thought you didn't like this game. Though. You said, uh, bullet number three. You said once in a while. But you've been to both of them this week. I mean, I'm not complaining. But, uh, I kind of expect this stream is not going to be too exciting. Today, I mean. Because we're mostly going around these places where I have an idea of where stuff is. Oh, well, thank you, Pale. <laughs> um, okay, we've got some more pants. <laughs> Speaking of games, I happened to have just bought 
too many games on the Steam Summer Sale. Probably start playing them tomorrow. Um, don't know if they'll be any good, but they are games that I've had on my wish list for a while. And uh, yeah, it started, I think it started yesterday. Um, well, three bullets, that's one house. Change computers and go shopping. Yeah, there's a lot of good deals. Um, but uh, I got Spelunky. I think it's like 370 or something. Uh, you know, American. It's incredibly cheap. So I'm definitely going to be streaming Spelunky. Uh, I got a I got an adventure game, a puzzle, like a mist kind of game. Got all sorts of stuff. I got a a space roguelike. All sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, I picked up Spelunky. It's it's really 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 cheap. Um, I had played it before, but not. Let's say reputably. Um, well, we can just say back when it was free. Um, Spelunky was free at first. I don't remember searching this room, but I, I did. Oh, I actually have that game already. I've thought about streaming Sword in the Stars the Pit, and I just thought it would be too boring. Um, also, nobody knows about it, but uh, it's interesting. I think I, it seems like the difficulty gets too too hard. Uh, I'm not. It's a little bit of an uneven game. Uh, anyway, with all that said, I'll probably stream eventually. Yeah, no, this game is actually like an. Um, it's like arcade style, not arcade. It's like a, a fighter game, like a like you're in a spaceship and you shoot. Um, it's basically FTL, but first person. So you're flying a ship around and you're shooting and you're looting and you're upgrading and uh, yeah. Uh, that one's called Everspace. Let me, let me, I'll, I'll put a list in the Discord. Um, I'll put a list in the Discord of the stuff that I might want to do on stream. But I, I got a lot of little games for like $2, $3. Um, some adventure games that I think would be fun where everybody tries to figure out what to do. Uh, Yeah, it's going to be good. All right, we've looted this place. I've looted it without thinking, so I don't... I'm not even sure what I've done, but... And it looks like it's about one or two, so... Oh, we've got to deal with this bunny rabbit. Okay. Does it? Does a rabbit have more smell? If you gut it, or if you don't. Like, should we just cook this and eat it? So I'm gonna do. It. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if they'd made it so that you could click on the burners to put down a pot, I think I could get behind this update. But how ridiculously janky is it that I have to drop a pot on the ground 
and then move the what what is that bullshit? Uh, apparently I picked up a book, so I'm going to go ahead and use it just because. One second. Um, I guess this fire has to be going for the pot to be interactable. We shall see. Alright, so we'll cook the rabbit. Uh, So, I'm, I was going to make the peaches, let's say, because they have water, they give us a warmth buff, and I, I don't know, what else are we going to do with them? this stuff? Actually, it looks like peaches, I mean, kind of. But I lost the tin can. Because I had three in my inventory. Put one on the stove. And then I uncanned the peaches. I should have a third can. Oh man, unless I'm doing some arithmetic wrong. sounds like a person doing a bubbling sound with his mouth. Hey, pal. Welcome back. Um, perfect. Well, so we ate the rabbit. There's no evidence. We do have a gut and a hide in our inventory, so we do smell which worries me. Because what I would like to do is wander up and down the river and collect uh, cattail. So maybe we should go home first, drop stuff off. I think that makes sense. If we can even make it. OK. 
Okay. What the fuck? How did he get to me that fast? That's wrong. He jumped over this wall. God, I hate wolves. So, I expected him to... You can't see my finger. I expected him to go here to come up the porch. He jumped over this wall. I have shenanigans. I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to eat this son of a bitch. You might call that a waste of an arrow, but that is exactly what I want to use arrows for. Bastard bolt. Ugh. Well, now we smell for real. Uh, we're still limping. So we can't run. Uh, there's three games on your wishes that aren't on sale. How, how big is your wish list? Like I said, there's no reason to conserve so many resources like we've been doing. I don't think, kind of, kind of there is because these things are finite. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take a tea, which will get rid of the limp. Okay. And, uh, oh shit! We're still overburdened. I should drop this. I just want to drop enough so that I can run. Yeah, I, I looked at... I, it's just kind of expensive still. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna slow boat it. Yeah, slow boat to victory. Yeah, Rain World looks interesting. I'd like to play Rain World, but it's kind of expensive. Um, I'm, I'm really cheap. And uh, it's hard for me to justify that kind of money. Um, I'm sure it's a fine game, but there's a lot of games that are... Like three bucks. Um, it, it has to be a game I think that I really can play a whole lot, and I'm not sure that uh, that that is that kind of game. I mean, maybe I don't know. It's not a. It's not randomized, is it? Isn't it just like? 
an adventure. Remember me, Titan Souls, Child of Light. Titan Souls. Titan Souls. What's that? I haven't heard of any of those. Uh, but like this game, for example, you know, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours. Of it. Yeah, how? Yeah, so there's a lot of games. I look them up on um, how long to beat. A website telling you how long it takes to beat games, and it's it makes you feel kind of crummy because. Uh, it's like ten dollars and it takes ten hours to beat. I think, oh, that's it's not a very good deal. Um, I spent twenty dollars on Factorio and I've gotten a thousand hours out of it. That's that's a good deal. All right. I'm, I'm going to listen here because I fully expect there to be wolves attacking us. We, we have full smell bars. Um, I might duck in this house. Well. I can make it to that car. I don't see the wolf. Did he just instantly turn around the moment we got in the car? Titan Souls is a 2D bosses only game. Your only mechanic is throwing the weapon and it returns to you. One hit, you're dead, speedrun game. I haven't I haven't heard of it. Um I did play Tit Titan's Quest, and that was pretty fun. Hey, pal Pal Palalplop? <laughs> Why? Why is your name Palalplop? Is it Pop? Pop? Pop Ulalop? I have, I have. Hello and welcome. <laughs> what's what's going on, Palo Alp? Palo Alp. Um, we are 131 days. This is uh, essentially stalker. We took, we disabled, um, we disabled. Um, indoor sickness, what's it called? We dis um, cabin fever. We disabled cabin fever, and uh, uh, I think parasites. Uh, but otherwise, everything is stalker. The wolves and the I think you're about to see me get attacked by a wolf because. I want to get to this house, and we have a lot of smelly stuff on us. Um, and there's wolves around here. Shit. Don't see it. There it is. Try to break line of sight. Actually, 
actually, you know what? Let's hop in here for a bit. I kind of think we might do it. I think we might get home without uh, getting attacked. So, yeah, I, I, it's a great game. It's a great game. This is my first time playing on Stalker. Um, usually I play with the animals set to passive. And uh, all I can say is that these wolves are ever-present and really frustrating. But it's, it's, it's made for a really interesting challenge. I think. Uh, Pale, Pale might disagree. Um, you had your first attempts with less playing with, uh, with Titan's Quest? Interesting. What's, uh, what's your Let's Play channel, Pale? Um, I don't think there's a bed in here. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna... Why don't I shoot this one? I could! But there's a chance that I miss, and then he attacks me, and then my clothes get hurt, and all sorts of stuff, you know? He just got attacked, uh like five minutes before you came, so we're carrying that wolf. Um, I have to check my clothes. Clothes are okay. Oh, it was you and someone else, pal? Yeah, to lose the arrow. Um, so just, to, was it uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, they, they came out with a patch because this latest, uh, this latest update made arrows invisible sometimes. And we lost, uh, we lost an arrow like that. Alright, here we go. Just like something that's easy. Uh, we, we're pretty tired, but I'm going to go ahead. Um, let's see. What do we, what do we, how much do we have? I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and cook these, I think. And then we'll go to sleep. Just do wrong. It doesn't matter. Something. It should have been 95%, but it was 90%. You you like it? I actually do not like it. Um, so early in our adventure, we visited the ship and forged some. Uh, forged some arrowheads and we made quite a few and I'm hoping that we'll never need to make any more so we've only lost about three arrows I think um, which I think is pretty good all right let's start cooking meat Cook. Jesus fucking Christ Yeah, I, I do not like this system. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's really, really tedious. It's, it's better now that we have pots, but I still don't like it. <clears throat> All right. 
That's it. Six steaks, six grills. Whew. All right, let's start dumping stuff. So, some firewood over here. Oh, I meant to drop that. Just put it in. Um, my cooking level. Uh, we're we're at five, so we can we have five harvesting, five cooking, four fire starting, three fish, three rifle, four archery. Four minutes. Make some coffee. Alright. And we will put start putting stuff in the fridge. Get some lichens. Roast it. Actually maybe we'll make that roast it. Scrap. Uh, we've got an extra hatchet now, which is pretty amazing. This rope. Right. We should be uh, we should be healed up in the morning. So that's uh, that's the farm. I think maybe we'll head to the little tower behind us tomorrow. Uh, not sure what's available. I think there's a chest. So yeah, if you're curious, pal. Um, We've got the uh, wolf skin, coat, deer pants, uh, rabbit skin mitts, and uh, some nice stuff. Wool long johns, climbing socks. Uh, we have leather shoes. We actually have better shoes, but we're just uh, trying to save the weight. They're very heavy. So usually we carry around uh, something lighter. these things. So I need to put these somewhere I don't lose them. Okay. Uh, hunt the Elan. What's the Elan? The moose? Or a bear? Uh, Ursa? Ursa? Is that what the root is? Hell, what's, uh, what's bear in, in uh, German? Is it Ur Urs Ursa something? Ursus? I guess that's Latin. It's not really German. You guys, you guys just copy English. You know that, right? That's just... That's just English, but... The elk. The moose. We call it the moose. Um, we haven't seen the moose in the whole game. 130 days, we still haven't seen the moose. Uh, we looked for him once. We went out <coughs> looking for moose, but we didn't find him. I'd like to, I'd like to find him because he's, you can make that bag. Um, I want the carrying capacity. As you can see, I tend to carry a lot of stuff. Um, 
I really want the carrot capacity. I think that's it. I think that's it for the fire. So we'll uh, let that finish off. Let's do. Oh god, this is so annoying. So, okay, I want to make point two in each. So I have to look how many clicks I have to do. This is so annoying. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just messing with you, Phil. Um, I always liked the the Latin Ursa or Greek. Not even sure. I think it's I think it's like Ursus in Latin, but uh, or Ursa. Da 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 da. da. So. Uh, let's see. If we can eat a little bit of this stuff. Well, a lot of it. She's a hungry gal. Alright. And I think we can pop a little bit of the fridge. This is, I'll need to do this, but whatever. Fair room. Ooh, I don't know that one. It, I know I never heard of it. Fair room. Fair room. Um, pal, pal, I will plot. What is your uh, language of of origin? Whatever you know what I mean. You take your meat outdoors. To uh, French, uh huh. Gotcha. French is French is Germanic, or French is uh, rom romance. <laughs> Nobody is perfect. What's uh? How did that? What, what's the root of French? Oh yeah, okay. Um, so then, what's the word for bear in in French? Pal, palo, plop. Does it have urs in it? All right, let's hit the hay. I think we've uh... ah urs, urs. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds pretty nasty out there. Luckily, we are safe inside with a bunch of food and a bunch of water. You never have to leave. But it's a new day. All right, let's see. Let's um let's fill our bellies. Let's do the inventory shuffle, and uh, we'll head out to look up the hill. All right. Um, I think we have enough water. <laughs> and. Well, I'm gonna keep it because we may we may go somewhere else. Uh, 
put that away. I'll even put uh, this away. All right, I think we're ready. Um, so once we do all this easy stuff, we'll head down the road um, to the church, and eventually it gets to this crazy thing with like all these cars and this bridge. Uh, I'm probably making it more exciting than it actually is, but it it looks like something happened. You know? It's kind of cool. Um, uh, I'm going to bring the bow. I, I was trying to decide between the bow and the gun. Oh, good lord, it's cold. It's very windy. That's part of it. Um, all right, let's let's take a quick look over here. That wolf's gone. Hey! I don't see a wolf. As long as the poor bunnies run. You know, the bunnies. I mean, they weren't so tasty, pal. Actually, I've never had rabbit. I mean, I assume it's just as good as anything else. It's, it's uh, not a whole lot of meats that I've tried that I didn't like. Uh, well, I was saying we actually have better shoes, but um, they're they're very heavy, and the weather's usually not this bad. So uh, they're in the cabin. Well, I was hoping there might be something here, like a box or something. Um. All right, then next thing is let's go back up here and see if we can see where the, the rope would be. And then we'll head back inside because it's so cold. Oh yeah, we have, uh, we have good boots. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're big insulated boots, I think. So I think if there's a rock, there's a climbing rope, you know. No, oh, the rope's there, so we don't actually have to bring it up. The rope's already there. So, okay. All right, let's head back inside. And we'll, uh, we'll wait an hour. Nice thing about all this wind is uh, plenty of sticks. You don't like climbing? It scares me. It really scares me. I've had too many accidents. Um, oh, we never checked our mail. Oh, we have a newspaper. Oh, thank you. Uh, actually, once in this run, I was climbing up in uh, Pleasant Valley, and I climbed up to the top, and right 
on top of us was a wolf, instantly attacked. It scared the bejesus out of me. Horrifying, really. More like RNG stupidity. Well, actually, Pale, what I what I mean first and foremost is um, is is bad calculation. So I thought uh, I thought I wouldn't get tired enough. Like the rope was small enough that I wouldn't get tired by the time I got to the top. And then you get like ninety percent of the way, and uh, and and you you're like, oh my god, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? No. <laughs> and you fall down. Uh, yeah, we found a hunting rifle in this in this region. Um, we have five bullets. Uh, but our main... So we haven't actually been there in a while, but our main base is in the coastal highway. All of our stuff is there. And then we have a, prime, a secondary base in uh, Mystery Lake. And so we're here... Um, exploring, we want to go to the new region, and uh, and I figured let's loot this let's loot this region while we're here. I haven't been to the um, the new region. I can't remember its name. Do you know what it's? Do you know what the new region is called? But the one that's all outdoors. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, but you know, I've got a lot of people who are bored and uh, and want me to die. So uh, should be exciting. Uh, let's take let's take a little nap, and then we'll check on the weather. I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, although, you know, it's only a little bit kidding. Some, somebody, somebody said something like, you know, what's the risk? Uh, maybe Delvina. Um, I, I don't seem close to death, you know. Uh, it is what it is. <clears throat> um, we have been close to death a few times in this run. A couple of times when I thought that we were going to have to pack it in. But uh, persevered, lived another day. All right. Hopefully, we don't get attacked. So that's our. That's our destination, that tower. Not too far. And there's a pretty little lake up here. If I remember correctly. Do I know if wearing two wolf clothes is better than one? In terms of uh, scary? Uh, I would guess no. Um, In terms of scaring the wolves away, I think only only the one on the outside matters. But they're very warm. Uh, but I would say it's probably too heavy to to want to have two. You want to make sure that the wolf is on the outside, uh, on the left, 
uh, Sinister. I don't know. I don't speak French at all, but I know a little bit of Latin. Um, but yeah, it needs to be on the outside for the uh, for the durability and the windproof and the waterproof. Uh, I, I didn't know that for the longest time. All right, what do we got up here? Hopefully, pretty little deer jumping around. Nothing. Nothing really, just uh, nature's hot dogs. Oh, I see a bunny rabbit. like you can get up there. Strike three. Oh, it jumped over the rabbit. Oh my god. All right. You're you're going down, buddy. smarter than me. He may be faster than me, but I am more patient. <laughs> Sorry, bunny. It was either you or me. Sorry, Phil. Sorry, sorry. Um, he's he's my friend. Pale, we're just gonna we're just he's just my friend. He's gonna be he's gonna be coming along with us on our adventure. Doesn't it look like you can climb up here? Like like it's stepping stones. Oh shit, you actually can. Well, where does that go? So I didn't even know that was a thing in this game, but it, it does a good job of making it look like you can climb them. So maybe this goes to where the rope goes. Is it normal that you break your friend's neck? It was a chiropractic adjustment, Bill. Are you familiar with chiropractory? Chiropractic? I hope not. I hope it hasn't spread to Germany. Oh, it's a very international crowd. Isn't it? I feel like there's more Europeans than Americans. Oh no. That's too that's sad that's bad to hear. What's sad to hear? Um oh, more hot dogs. 
Well, I certainly want to explore up that climb, but I don't want to do it just this second. Um, pretty soon, Pale, you're going to be having uh, a vaccine refusal and, uh, God, what else? Healing crystals, aromatherapy, aromatherapy, do you have that one yet? Please tell me now. Um, look what we've got here. Oh, that was so close. The ethereal force. I still don't really know where to aim. But, sometimes I get lucky. Oh my god. I, I, have, to, I have to put a, a request in to fix this UI thing. Because um, that's going to drive me absolutely insane all right we've got two rabbits we've got plenty of hot dogs uh do you have hot dogs in germany hey i forgot better yeah i did kill the rabbit but um i'm i'm hungry so he, we'll see i now the first rabbit has someone to play with, Kale. Uh, welcome, I forgot that. Alright. Let's, let's head up here. Slowly but surely. A lot of rose hips. That wasn't his first one. True. So I think that that little box can have some fun stuff in it. Oh, it's too tall. <clears throat> but are they actually like American hot dogs? I guess it's hard for me to believe because I feel like, I mean, we've talked about it before, but I feel like the thing I associate strongly to Germany is sausage. And sausage is not really a hot dog. A tinder plug! The only thing in the supply bin is a tinder plug. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Hot dogs are just so... They're so... To me, they're quintessentially American. Like American cheese... They're bland, and the consistency is uniform. You know, they're just very... They're very easy. I don't know if they... Do you, you know what I mean? <clears throat> they're very... Uh, childlike. <laughs> I think you, you get my drift. Man, that was a disappointing 
supply bin there. All right, let's take a look over here. I don't really remember what's over here. Oh, it looks like we've got a cave. Do you learn this in elementary school? In uh, kindergarten? Uh, holy shit! This is Chris Christmas. A hunting rifle, a pack of ammunition. Um, well, this is much better than a supply crate. Let's, let's take the coal. Feeling. <laughs> no, they don't. I mean, the hamburger, I feel like, like that one, I'm proud of, but the hot dog, not really proud of the hot dog. If you see what I'm saying. Um, all right. What I'm going to do is drop all the stuff off, and then we'll probably come back up here, because I have a lot of... Um, a lot of heavy stuff, and uh, and also two rabbits that are starting to smell. Twenty percent Google. Google makes all of us smarter. Um, yeah, I feel like hamburgers are good. Hamburgers are interesting, you know? But hot, I mean, I like hot dogs. Don't get me wrong. I like hot dogs. I had hot dogs last night. Uh, but it's it, it's just like American cheese. Have you had American cheese? It's not really it's not really very cheese. It's it's like very palatable in a very bland way, like baby food. Um, all right, twenty cattail stalks. So the coal, let's put the coal in the corner. Boop. Boop. Uh, sticks go here, I guess. Don't like hot dogs. That's fair. I feel like, uh, I, I have a... Um, I have a shitty palate. I like everything. I have no taste because uh, everything tastes tastes good. So I I I can't uh, can't judge. 
All right, so my goodness, my goodness, we've got two rifles. Um, what are we going to do? I, I feel like we should use it. Um, Then let's take um, Lock and load. Is that that's pretty much it, yeah? All right, so now the question is, do we explore up, up there, uh, maybe up that climb thing, or do we go to the church? Um, yeah, <laughs> wibbly-wobbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the toppings, the toppings make the hot dog for sure. But that's that's true of the hamburger as well. I feel like the toppings make the hamburger a lot of the time. Um, all right, let's go on an adventure. We'll bring our ridiculously heavy rug. I mean, uh, sleeping bag. Um, I'm going to drop like a hair of water on it, and well, okay, you know, arugula is one of the things I don't, I don't like. Uh, Oh, you know what? We should actually we should top off with the uh, the wolf meat. But yeah, maybe on a hamburger, arugula arugula would actually not be bad uh, because the hamburger would hide the taste of the arugula. <laughs> Almost. Um, so my idea is we'll sleep in the church tonight, probably. Just, uh, just kind of to mix things up. Should be fun. We'll we'll go a little bit further and explore, and then come back to the church. All right. How do I shoot? Yeah, I think I think that's what's causing some of the wolves to be scared. It's just a random chance, though. Um, it's wolves with a V. Uh, 
yeah. But they... Sometimes they run off when they see me. But I would say it's probably something like 15% of the time. It's pretty small. I think it's happened enough that, uh, that I think that's what's happening. I don't think they have any reason to be afraid otherwise. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of the things that um, has kept me from switching codes. Um, its main drawback is that it's so heavy, and I'm I'm already carrying too much stuff anyway. So we'll definitely want to go down here. Let's let's pop down here right now. Do a little bit. decide to go back to Mystery Lake. My guess is that we're going to have so many cattails that we have to leave some behind. Which is going to be pretty sad. So I may, I may start eating things if it makes sense. Because um, there's a lot of cattails in this map. A lot. Um, this river, I believe, is what we went over to get to the farm. It seems kind of peaceful. Haven't heard any wolves. Crack. All right, well, so we'll turn back here, we'll go over the bridge. Although, seems like something dead. It seems to be to the right. Oh, is that that's the that's the body? All right, research that body. All right, head over the bridge. Look for movement. Can't really see anything.
so there's uh, there's a lot of cars, which is why I've been carrying around the crowbar. I don't like the search cars, honestly. Uh, like I said last stream, it makes me dizzy for some reason to, to go into them. But, uh, a hatch, I mean, you can't. There's every reason to, uh, to search them. Holy crap. Wow, that was a, a gift. That car is like uh, gold. Especially if we didn't have those socks already. Those are the best socks. I think I see a sapling. I'll pick that up while it's still bright. Socks are so decent. Oh my god. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. This is a, a bow. So Looks like there's a thing. I hear a dead body. That's a weird thing to say, out of context. I hear a dead body. Looks, looks like it. So I have to say, I really do not know this part of the map uh, almost at all. The only thing I know is if we follow the road, but I feel pretty confident that we can get back. There's a wolf. There's also something red. What could that be? What could, what could be red? We've seen train cars that are red. Um, We've seen canoes that are red, but why would there be a canoe on a mountain? What could that be? Hmm. It is a mystery. The cave here. Oh, there's no mama bear. A whole lot of nothing. So the birds are gone. Kind of looks like a house. Um, okay. As long as we don't get a blizzard. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's like a whole thing up here. I mean, this, like, paths, roads.
Oh, I know where this is. So that's the rope that's above our house. I, I don't have a very good idea of all the stuff in my head. It doesn't uh, fit together, but I'm pretty sure that that rope is, uh, leads to our house. sense to actually just take it and then leave tomorrow. Oops. The weather's getting bad and we've actually already picked up a lot of stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, we'll head around the mountains a bit, and then come back here to, to go home. Because I remember there being a cave. I think. And a car. Pretty close. Uh, if you go far enough, I think this leads to the new area. It just doesn't make sense in my head. I love how they spawn rocks next to the rabbits to help you. Like, you don't even need to carry rocks around, they're just waiting for you. It's definitely getting darker, but go this way for just a bit. We'll hug the wall so that we don't get lost. Oh, there's a wolf. I'll really hug the wall. And I've lost sight. He's behind that tree. is in the way. There's the car. Okay, so I, I know where I am. Ish. 
I just didn't know that this was a way to get here. Very nice. Yeah, we're not going to be able to carry any of this wood down the road. Let's in fact, oh shit, I just realized that we're so tired. Um, might have to do a little strategy. He's coming for us. He sees us. Maybe I shouldn't do the shot. So, all right, I learned something. Um, we already knew that when you draw back the bow, the wolves can somehow understand that, and they charge. It, it's true when you. Aim with the sights. Um, not quite sure what you're asking, though. Does wolf count intensive? Maybe intensive is not the right word. I'm not sure what you're looking for. Maybe we should kill him and eat him here tonight. I mean, he's already dead. Ah! Um, I don't think so. I think the only thing that intensifies is the weather. The weather uh, gets worse over time, and on different difficulties it gets more or less worse over time. I don't know what the default, what I have it set to. Um, but don't, don't go on the rock. Um, but I, I don't, I think the, I think the animals stay the same. Uh, that, Eventually, the animals are your only source of food. Um, I guess I guess fish, but uh, but a lot of people use the wolves. All right, so I'm going to do something more exciting. We're going. We're going to. Uh, Take all. We're gonna be aggressive. Okay, we're gonna head back to this fellow and join him. If I can find him. This was it, right? There he is. Uh, Gerald. And uh, we're going to spend the night with Gerald.
why is it 90% chance? It's, it's been 95. Did they change how sticks work? Did they nerf sticks? I kind of think they nerfed sticks. So you know how I hate to let a wolf go to waste. Uh, I thought it would be better to stay up here, cook the wolf. And uh, we have a sleeping bag. There's no reason not to. Alright, so put that away. Let's. I think how this works is we have to just drop it. Apparently we only have two rocks. Um, I think we have plenty of water. So I won't make any more water. We'll just put these sticks. And uh, you know what's kind of gross is that we're going to thaw him out. Uh, anyway, to go back to your question, Pale, I, I think in this game, usually the weather plays a role in killing. Um, I feel like a lot of my deaths, what happens is you're kind of like, you're doing all right, and then there's a storm. And that causes you to do something to try to get out of the storm. And, uh, and things spiral out of control because um, when it's cold I mean it sucks if you get frostbite it actually lowers your max health permanently um, I think you can you can have half of your health bar uh, frostbitten Can I just put these? I mean, I don't understand why I can't put it on this rock, you know. Ooh. Ah, it's a it's a little happy face. kind of curious if this dries out in front of the fire, but I don't think it does. That was only 30. Oh, that's so funny.
I sort of thought this would be sheltered. Ah! Uh. So we can't, uh... Can't seem to finish cooking it. Is that somewhere else? <laughs> Gonna sleep in short bursts. Because I'm a little unsure about the the wind and the uh, cold. I actually I thought it was a cave over here, uh, but I can't find it at night. Wolf man would be bad, yeah. I'm actually, honestly, I'm more scared of a blizzard because if there is a blizzard and the sleeping bag isn't warm enough, um, we'd have to find the cave in the dark. But I think we're good. It's a, it's. We have the bear sleeping bag, so it's super warm. Can't remember how many degrees, but... Alright. So what I want to do... Uh, is get some wood... Also, let's look for that cave. Let's get some wood, finish the... finish cooking the wolf. And then uh, get down this mountain. attack us. Um, I guess we'll check this car real quick. Spend a night under the stars. How romantic. Next to a corpse, but still. <sighs> so I pretty stupidly used all my wood. Um, hoping that the wind would stop shifting. So that if it had gotten cold later that night, 
I wouldn't have been able to start the fire. The, the movie Swiss Army Man? No, oh, haven't heard of it. What's, uh, what's it about? I had a Swiss Army knife when I was a kid. Come on, where's the big branches? There's one. man stranded on an island wants to hang himself out of nowhere a corpse played by daniel radcliffe is washed upon the beach they become best friends and he uses the corpse that's a multi-purpose tool that sounds pretty strange could be interesting uh i i actually i feel like i remember hearing about Daniel Radcliffe playing a dead person, but I didn't know what it was. Swiss Army Man. <clears throat> Reminds me a little bit of... Uh... of uh, Castaway with Tom Hanks. Where he your friends the volleyball uh, and also weekend at Bernie's where a dead guy is a major character um, all right so I'm gonna I got finish. That's okay. I think I can read. Get for the water. Um, do you like it, though? Would you recommend it? Dear, so I want to take the rope down. But we have so much stuff. And I don't have any water uh, exactly because I was trying to lose weight. But it 
that's not enough for 10 pounds of it. Uh, so I'll try dropping wood. You laughed a lot, but it's a strange kind of call for yourself. Yeah, well, that's all I would expect. Um, but you liked it. Um, I haven't really been watching a whole lot of movies lately. Yeah, I can't think of the last movie I saw. But I'll definitely keep an eye out for it. Alright, so we're going to be back here multiple times. But I. Hopefully, we're going to leave here right now. Uh, God, I hope I hope I know what I'm doing. I can't see down there, so so I really hope this is it. Otherwise, this could be the end. But I'm going to drop stuff, sticks. Drop uh, fur. Okay, actually, get close here. So, I don't want to drop anything. I have to drop two pounds. saw Infinity Wars and Deadpool 2. Did you like Infinity Wars and Deadpool 2? I actually haven't seen either of those. I haven't heard anything about Deadpool 2. I have heard nobody say anything about it. I like the first one. Um, Kind of a weird move. I'm going to read this book. I'm really, really uh, being thrifty here. This could kill us if this is not the right place. Oh, shit. Somehow I'm tired of it. See? Yes, it's melted. Okay. Everything is fine. Everything is coming up roses. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I didn't have to drop anything useful. So that's actually pretty nice to return. And we don't really need to take it going back because on the road it's pretty quick. So I'm glad that we know how that works now. Head out to that church. Like I said, I was. But we got caught up exploring. I think that's going to have to be tomorrow. Um, first things first, let's drop.
It's at least as good as the first one. Ah, that's a... That's a strong... statement. Infinity Wars was good. A little too predictable. Nearly every character from the Marvel comic universe takes part in this one. I think it's only really good if you've seen them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I saw, I don't I don't even know which ones I've seen, but I've seen some of the ones with a bunch of people. Like the Hulk and Iron Man and Captain America. And they just sort of seemed like... Like... Everybody was cool. Everybody had to be cool. I don't. I don't know. I can't. I can't explain it. I mean, I liked them. They were entertaining. Um, I just. I guess I didn't feel much tension. They all felt like they were perfect. You know, like they were all Superman. Uh, yeah, I think that's the way to describe it. Like, I don't really find Superman very interesting, you know? Uh, I think he was always interesting when he lost his powers with the kryptonite and stuff. Is this... Uh... Man, we found two hatches in this area. Yeah, the Captain America movies. I definitely like the Captain America movies. Um, I mean, I, I liked all of them. You know, they they were definitely entertaining. Uh, like Iron Man's personality is entertaining. waste time and do this by hand. Oh, such a good sound. Um, Thor, Thor was another, it's like, he's a god. I, I mean, his feelings were hurt. I, he just, I don't know. It's not much. I don't, I don't get where the drama is. <coughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook the rabbit. Well, do we want to cook anything else? Maybe some water. Yeah, yeah. That's so you've probably seen it, but uh, uh, the Watchmen um, or read the comic books. The Watchmen is super, super, super cool. I, re I very much like it, um, and it and it explores exactly that. It explores the. You know, they don't have superpowers, they're just 
trying to save the world, you know. And uh, people are very fallible. And there goes Mr. Wolf. Well, a lot of good that <clears throat> Good that gun did. Spin a bullet and still got attacked. Speaking of which, shoes are taking a being. Pants are down to 82. Nothing uh, urgent that I need to repair. Like, uh, thrilling. I, I'd love to take apart something, uh, I'd love to do something. The whole idea, supposedly, behind this update is that you can do something while you're cooking, but you can't. Um, 17 minutes, so that's going to be ready. What, what can I do in 17 minutes? Oh, it's just the most tedious, stupid thing. Oh my god, so we, we've got uh, 12 pounds of cattail stock, 112, plus all the cattail stock we have in the other region, which I believe is over 100 as well. Oh my goodness gracious.
15 minutes. Nice. So that is it for cooking. It's the middle of the night. We've uh, replenished our water supply. What we used in our little trip. It's time for bed. So, I don't know what time it is in real life, but uh, I'm feeling kind of tired myself. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll go to the church for real, and then uh, we'll stop it at, in the evening. Um, you have every Watchmen book, and also the Before Watchmen series DVD included. I mean, it's great. I that um, let me let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Let me think. Hold on. Uh, I think that that was the first comic book or whatever graphic novel that I ever read, and. Uh, and it's it's made it's a pretty high bar to compare everything else to you know uh, but it's certainly what made me interested in reading graphic novels uh, I, I read it and then I read uh, V for Vendetta I read it basically everything by that, that guy uh, what's his name Alan Rick, Rick, Richard, I can't remember his name, uh, but the guy who wrote, uh, the guy who wrote, uh, shit, what's his name, real eccentric guy, no, not Alan Rickman, he did, he did write The Watchmen, uh, Who's my favorite Minutemen? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a favorite Minutemen. Uh, uh, every, everybody in that story is interesting. Um, okay. Alright, so I'm going to eat. going to put that away uh, yeah I, I can't remember what the guy's name is but he, he wrote a bunch of Scott, he, uh, of the thing swamp thing he did um, uh, that famous Batman, the or one of the origin stories for the Joker. Uh, the, it was super dark. I mean, I, I just absolutely loved it. I really, 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 really like dark, um, gray morals and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, Alan Moore, that's his name, Alan Moore. Um, I've read just about everything Alan Moore's comic books, at least. Uh, he's a really weird guy, but interesting. All right. Um, so, like before, I think I'm going to, well, let's see. The gun didn't help us all that much, although I think it is easier than the bow. But it's also super heavy, and we're carrying the barrel, so I'm going to leave it. 
next to the other gun of ours. Why it was so light. Looks like we only have one arrow that's been shot. Good deal. So like I said, we'll head to the church. Um, I'll try to stick to the road unless something's really interesting. And then uh, we'll call it quits. Everything looks good. It's warm. Nice and bright. All right, take two of our little excursion. Now we know. We just uh, follow the hill to the right and we wind up on that ridge. Um, and I, th I think that road goes a ways and I also think that's where the new area is. That's where we got distracted. Oh, well, shit. We already have a wolf on our path. Uh, there's the church, but... But there's a wolf right in front. Oops. Yeah. Blast it. on the right side of the road. So we go left. All right, I think there's a little pond back here, if I remember right. Something maybe. rabbits. Oh, 
also see saplings. Oops. Every one of these saplings is uh, three arrows. And each arrow is ideally like five wolves. Each wolf is 15 pounds of meat. So it's like directly survived uh, long term of course doesn't protect us from being stupid and going out into a blizzard that kind of stuff but it's time that uh, that we're not struggling. Especially the new system has made fishing uh, and rabbits the two sort of you know, easily sustainable things. A lot tougher. It takes a lot more wood now. And of course wood takes time. So it's not even clear that fishing or, or rabbits break even because it was already kind of close. Oh shit! That's the church we walked around. I didn't realize how far we've gone. Um, I haven't seen the wolf in a while. Same game of the desert setting. Be interesting. I, I I feel like it's a lot harder to survive in the desert. I, I feel like to make it realistic, it would be a lot harder to like it would have you'd have to be able to find towns and stuff you know oh shit I mean there aren't even animals to eat right like 
geckos or something? He ran away from me. Let's try this truck. One of these days we'll find a truck that starts and we'll get out of here. But yeah, I, I like the idea. I mean, I guess I just don't know anything about... I guess I don't really know anything about the desert. Lizards, cactus. Uh, St. Christopher's Church. Who is St. Christopher? I don't know. It's his church. I mean, yeah, I, I like survival games in general, so um, if you've got a survival game, I bet it would be cool. I, I really... I was trying to think, you know, what is it? How does a bed here? We didn't even need the sitting bed. I was trying to think, what is it, you know, about survival? I really like stockpiling. I really like um, when it's hard and you have to be conservative. I like that kind of stuff. Being careful. Being miserly. Um, like, I don't, I don't just like survival to, for, because you have to eat and drink. I feel like, um, Subnautica is not really survival, uh, even though they, they use that word. It's more of an exploration game. I think that's it. There's not a whole lot of stuff here. I mean, you did find a knife, which is nice, but uh, there's not really a whole lot here. Um, But I think this is a perfect place to start from next time. Uh, we'll probably go up the road a bit, come back. We have a lot more to explore in this region. Um, but we actually might think about heading to the next um, next stream. I think that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, Pale, happy, hope you have a good night. Anybody else out there as well? Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I will see you next time.